the only way to stay consistent in your business so that you can get the results you need. Everybody is telling you, be consistent. Only by taking consistent action, you can get the results you need. Well, we all know, but nobody is telling you how. So if you want to know the only way you can get consistent in your business, keep on watching. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, owner of KarmaDNA.com. I help coaches and online entrepreneurs plan their launches with evergreen systems and strategies so that they can scale to 10K months without social media and tech burnout. Today, I want to talk about consistency because this is something I personally struggle with a lot. And I know most of the coaches and entrepreneurs struggle with this a lot, especially when they first start their business. For me, it's a personal, lifelong struggle in every aspect of my life. As a neurodivergent, I've struggled with consistency a lot. But that's why I always look for different ways of improving my consistency and actually creating systems to help me stay consistent. And actually, this is the only way I've become successful in anything I've done in life that made me successful. And I want to share with you four tips today that will help you to stay consistent. And I'm also give you an actionable item that you can do today to start being consistent in your business with your efforts of getting more clients and making more sales. So let's start. Tip number one, it's all in the numbers. You might have heard of my framework measure, optimize, and convert. If we don't measure, we cannot improve. If we can't improve, we cannot get the results we need. So that's why numbers is important. Now, numbers don't mean you're just looking at your numbers. No, knowing numbers also mean that you need to know the numbers of your industry. Meaning, what are the average conversion rate numbers in your industry for certain processes that you have in place. And when I say it's all in the numbers, it's because every step in your sales process has a conversion rate. Conversion rate doesn't only mean the um, actual clients you convert, right? Every step you need to know how many percent of the people that come to my page need to sign up? How many percent of these people that sign up need to click on the link? How many people that click on the link, sign up, go to book a call? How many people who book a call need to um, get, in, get on a call with me? And how many of those do I actually book? If you don't know these conversion rates, what is the average expected conversion rate? You won't even know if you're doing the right thing or if you're doing something wrong or if you need to do something else, right? So this brings me to my tip number two. You're not doing enough. Don't take it personal. It's not personal. You're not doing enough because you cannot possibly do enough to actually reach those numbers. Unless you have um, automation, unless you have help, like a team and such. Now, if you are in the earlier stages of your business, if you haven't got consistent clients yet, if you don't have a way of getting consistent clients yet, that means it's just solo dolo. You're just doing everything on your own. You're just doing everything manually. Yes, automation will help you. Yes. Having a team will help you. But before you even can get there, you need to first have consistency in your own process. And how can you do that? That's what we're trying to accomplish, right? In this video, I'm trying to show you how you can be consistent first so that you can have an effective automation system, so that you can have an effective team that helps you. Now, when I say you're not doing enough, here's what I mean. I hear new coaches tell me, oh, I'm not getting enough clients. Uh, you know, I can't sustain my business like this. 
this is not happening for me. It won't work. Okay. First thing I'm asking them, how many clients a month do you need in order to sustain their, your business? Let's say three. Okay. They need three clients to sustain their business a month. Okay, great. How many calls are you getting on every month in order to get three clients? And they tell me, oh, 10, 11, eight. Here's the deal. Again, I am being completely honest with you. The average conversion rate in coaching business is 10% for this, meaning you're expected to book one out of 10 leads that you get on a sales call with. Meaning, if you need three clients every month, if you need to book three clients every month, you need to get on at least 30 sales calls. This is industry average. Yes, we're going to try to improve that conversion rate, right? But we can't even look at that before we get the people to our sales calls first, enough people to our sales calls first. So we got to look at all the steps before that. And all of those steps before that has a conversion rate. Because think about it. Booking 30 calls is not equivalent to getting on 30 sales calls. Even that has a conversion rate. Because we expect, again, this is not personal. We expect in the industry that not everybody that books a call is going to get on an actual call with us. Once again, we have steps to improve that. We have steps of making more people get on a call with us than less. But again, you can't even think of that before you are booking those calls. So you can't just shoot for booking three calls a month and, and, and getting on all those three calls and actually booking three clients every month from out of only three sales calls. That's what we are aiming for, yes, when we are, but even the gurus, they don't have like 100% conversion rate for that, right? We can look at improving. But first, we got to get to that 10% mark so that we can start optimizing things, right? So think about it. In order for you to book, book, not get on, 30 sales calls, how many personal conversations you need to make how many people do you need to build relationships with how many people do you need to interact with how many people do you need to dm with so that you can book more than 30 calls so that you can get on 30 calls so that so that you can book three clients that month right and that's a lot of work so you're not doing enough, not because you're not good enough, not because you don't know enough. It's because technically, without the system, without automations, without help, technically, it's not even possible for you to get to that point just yet. Technically, it's not possible for you to produce that much work. Technically, it's not possible for you to do that much. And this brings me to my tip number three, because you're reinventing the wheel. I'm not saying physically it's not possible. I'm saying it's not possible by doing it the way you're trying to do it right now. If you keep reinventing the wheel every time you need to do a task, you are wasting so much time and money and energy. If you have to retype a whole DM, retype a whole message, your niche statement, your links, or if you have to think there and, and think about how to find more people to request friendship or, or invite to your group or, or show your freebie, then you're wasting time. You need to have a system before you can even have if automation or before you can even have help. Because first, you need to be very clear in every task that you need to do consistently and continuously. Okay. Again, brings me to my last 
and final tip, which is number four, tip number four, and that is to create workflows, create systems, and create SOPs. When I say systems, I don't mean platforms or automation. I mean, first, systems like a step-by-step -step process of each task. I don't mean breaking down projects into digestible tasks. I mean a step-by-step -step checklist of each task and how you complete this task and how you complete this task. So think about this. When you make this checklist, I should be able to, or, or whoever it is that doesn't even know about your business should be able to look at this task list, this look at this workflow and as, as long as we take each action, as long as we follow those steps, we should be able to deliver the same results. This could be your scripts. Type up, typing up the most commonly used DM scripts or, or engagement scripts that you have and keeping them somewhere so that you can copy and paste. I cannot imagine, like I, I personally hate texting and typing on my phone. I can't imagine if I had to type every time um, my niche statement or how I introduce myself or anything like that, um, that I, I wouldn't do it. Like I'm already a procrastinator as it is. So knowing that, okay, I had to go through all of these and type all of this stuff up just to send 10 DMs to people, Knowing that I got to go through the same thing tomorrow and the day after and the day after, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm going to hold, like, that's going to hold me back. So I have to make this more efficient for myself. I have to make this easier for myself. And what do I do? I have a, a spreadsheet of all my DMs, or sometimes it's in my workflow where it's already a script that I can just copy and paste for the most commonly interactions that I make. And by now, if you don't, if you're not clear about these steps to follow, whenever you're creating an Instagram post, whenever you are doing a YouTube video, whenever you are engaging in Facebook groups, whenever you are DMing people, things like this, right? If you don't have clarity in your step-by-step -step workflow yourself, Oh, that means that you're just wasting a lot of time and money. So that's why you need to create that. Now, sometimes I won't even remember. If I think back and try to remember how I did that thing, I know I'm going to be missing a lot of stuff. So my biggest tip to you is to start doing that task that you want to create a workflow. You want to create a step-by-step -step checklist for. Start doing that task. And at each step, stop, meaning pause. Type up what you just did with very uh, detailed explanation. Like, let's say, first, I went to a Facebook group. Don't say that. Put the direct exact links of the Facebook groups that you're going to there, saying go to Facebook groups, but da, 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 right? So that you can click on it next time when you start the task. And then pause again and write the next step in very detailed. This way, whoever follows these steps are going to be able to do the same work, right? And that's why it's important before you can even automate anything, before you can even hire help of like a team of people, even if you're hiring experts, it's important for you to have these workflows, have these SOPs, the standard operating procedures, so that they can adapt to these things too. Because if you expect your team to like, let's say they're doing DM engagement or let's say they're doing posts or whatever. If you expect everyone to create something from scratch, it's gonna, it's not gonna be even in your brand voice. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be coherent, cohesive with what you're talking about or how your branding is. So that's why you need to create these workflows for yourself and for your team and for your automation so that you have a way of doing things. And this is gonna dramatically decrease the time spent, increase your productivity, 
And you won't have to worry about if you're doing enough anymore because you'll be able to do it so easily. Let's say right now it takes you an hour to find quality leads and DM them. It's going to take you a, about 15 minutes once you have this workflow because you don't have to think about which link to go to and, and what to say and what to type up and how to find a person. You will have a step-by-step -step checklist for yourself saying, click on this link, search for this, comment this, where you can copy and paste that comment, and saying, oh, friend request this or follow this. Um, and then DM from one of these scripts, right? You copy and paste it. Think about how much time this cuts down and think about how much more consistent this is with all your efforts, because then you know they're not just random. You know that you have a process that you follow and you know that these leads are more quality than you would just randomly search for leads. So it is just improving everything, time, effort, quality, all of these things. And you have to have these workflows. I am giving you a homework. I need you to do two things. Number one, type up your niche statement and how you introduce yourself in, let's say, Facebook groups when you join a group or when there is a, you know, promote yourself or, or, you know, put your link below type of com type of post when you comment on those, what is a couple of paragraphs that you want to write? How do you want to introduce yourself and what do you want to say? Who do you work with? Who do you serve? And give them a call to action as to which link to follow or where to go and type this up and save this. There are two ways of saving this either on a notepad or in your keyboard shortcuts. Let me know if you want me to make a tutorial about how you can save uh, shortcut messages on your keyboard on your phone so that you can just do it easily. And let me know in the comments if you want that tutorial and I'll make one. Second homework is I want you to think of top three tasks that you do or you need to do more often, you need to do consistently in your business in order to get you more leads and more clients. And when I say this, I don't necessarily mean how to create a social media graphic, no. Make it more important, more money making, more close to closing a client type of activity. It's just like it could be how to find uh, leads to DM on Instagram, it could be um, uh, your the way you do your engagement in Facebook groups. It could be uh, the way you engage in Facebook Messenger DMs. These type of things, right? Or it could be your call to actions. So think about three tasks and write a workflow, a step-by-step -step workflow of each task. Think about, start doing these tasks. You don't have to do it all at once, obviously. Tomorrow, I'm going to do this task and create a workflow. So tomorrow, start doing that task. Pause, write what you just did, and keep going. And then read it and improve as to, okay, what would I need here? Maybe you need to insert a link that you need to click on. Maybe you need to insert a script that you need to copy and paste. Could be, right? So think about improve it. And then read very objectively thinking, okay, if I was to follow these steps right now, can I get the same result? You can even ask for help from someone that is that doesn't know much about your business or how to do it and ask them to read it and be like, okay, can you do this? You know, it could be your sister, brother, friend. And those are your homeworks. So like I said, let me know in the comments if you want me to make a tutorial about how you can actually um, write keyboard shortcuts. Um, and please come back and let me know in the comments, what are these three tasks that you came up with? And of course, if you need help with these, but I want to know, I'm really curious about what those three tasks that you want to come up with uh, to create a workflow. So let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.
Bye.